Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial on the component flatten. Not really component, but I mean it is a component, sorry. I actually put it on the other screen. Um, on the component, the component, sorry, flatten. So this is useful uh, to many degrees. It's a, it's really hard to describe when it's useful. But the way I've thought about it is that it's useful by seeing how the list is, what's it called, how you, if you want every single point to be manipulated evenly, then you use graft. If you want every single uh, thing on that list to be treated at, treated the exact same, you want it to be flattened. What I mean by the exact same is like, if I want to move this 10, then I want to move this 10 uh, up one and then two and then three four five six so it'll move everything up by one and then it'll move the everything up by two which is this one to the two unit um, i'll explain uh, i'll show you it's easier to see visually than me explaining but there's a reason why i didn't keep this component uh plugged in so we're going to plug this in right now so we're really going over flatten and graft as well so these two components we're not going to use these components really they're usually right click they're usually in here uh, these are the most handy ones uh, I use the most of these two I really don't use simplify very often uh, I have used it a few times and I use reverse a lot but I usually type it out so let's see what these components are so if we look at the list we can see there is 28 components or 29 let's say <clears throat> we have 29 components and now what do we do so we're like okay let's say we want these all to move up by 10 but you want it to be gridded with points so you can see this is not it's moving in this weird diagonal shape and then you have this line so a very simple way to fix this is I want I know that I want every single point to I want it to read as its own individual list. So this if I want everything to read in its own individual list, what I mean by list is this. So zero zero is a list. Uh, zero zero is a list, and I want it to read as its own individual. So what I mean by individual, if I do a partition. I'll say four, just to name it, and then I put the panel in. This is now reading as one list: zero, 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 one, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three. This is all reading as its own list now. So, I want them to all, each one of these points, to read on its own branch. Is what they call it, not list. It's on its own branch. So right now, this is all under. All these points are under one branch. So, in order to make them have their own each individual branch, what we can do is we can do a graft. We can look at the now, we plug in the panel, and we see what it gives us. So as you can see, it gives us on its own individual branch. And now, all we have to do, so now we know if we want these on individual branches, we can actually right click and then graft. And now we get our grid of points so I this is flatten uh, this is graft uh, flatten as you can see was basically what this looks like and graft is what this looks like and I guess to iterate further we can actually do simplify tree we can actually plug this in and then we can plug in the panel here and then we can see what simplify does. It basically simplify all it does is it really simplifies it. Instead of have zero 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 one because these are all like sub branches as you can see zero zero nine. So it simplifies it and puts them under just zero and then one and then two. Um, it's hard to explain what this does in particular. It's a little confusing, um, but in short, it makes listing and like if you had, when you do split tree. A simplified tree really helps out in terms of keeping your list organized. 
Uh, let's see, front. So yeah, so yeah, these are the uh, components. So this is what flatten looks like. Everything's under one list, which is zero. Everything's in its own list. Um, and simplify is, yeah. Uh, I guess to go even further, um, I guess in this tutorial we're not just doing uh, doing flatten anymore. We're doing everything. So uh, reverse list can go into here, and we can actually just we're gonna do it from here. And then we're gonna do it from here. We're gonna plug in this. As you can see, that I mean this one's self-explanatory, but it literally reverses it. So. Um, 28 here, 28's here. So yeah, um, I think that's all. There, there is a reparameterize, but that's I've only used that with surface morph, so you don't have to really uh, use that. Not, I mean, you don't have to use it that often. Not, you don't have to use it. I mean, yeah, you don't have to. But um, anyways, so yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, it's just a quick. Um, I, I think. This is warranted just to show you kind of what these do. And we can add some bullet by tree under here. And then we can add reverse. Let's I'm gonna put that under here. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this. Um hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye.